Hello, so um, I now have literally two weeks until exams. <laughs> it's my first opening statement. Two weeks. I just need to see how much of a difference I can make to what I know in this two weeks before exams. Go out there and smash it and then enjoy my summer. And that is it. Like, the upside of things is that in three weeks time, three weeks time I'll be done because my exams are in the space of a week. It's got its upsides, it's got its downsides. So basically, this two weeks, I don't have lectures anymore, I don't have labs anymore, it's literally me going revision, revision, revision. I do have lots of supervisions still with my supervisors. I'm just doing lots of tripos questions at the moment and essays for earth sciences. This afternoon, for example, I've got a three hour earth sciences supervision. It's like a big group supervision um, with two supervisors present and I've got a list of questions ready for that. I've kind of trying to plan out my days as well. I've got um, on my phone a list of each day of what I'm doing. So I've assigned subjects and the area within that subject that I want to revise. It's just that last, it's the final push. If the Wi-Fi could work, that would be helpful. Nope, that's wrong. Oh, Jesus College Guess. Oh, we have a connection. Excellent stuff. You know something's wrong when the only Wi Fi I can manage to connect to is the guest Wi Fi. Yeah, the guest Wi Fi. Yeah? Jesus College Wi Fi never actually connects. Edge your own Wi Fi never actually connects. The guest Wi Fi is like, oh, this is only for use of Jesus College Guest students to use. Edge of Rome or Jesus College Wi-Fi, not the guest one. I'm like, well, if you made that Wi-Fi work, it'd be much easier for me. I'm just going on Moodle, as I always am. Uh, Moodle is just where all the stuff for our courses is. I'm sure it's the same. Like When I was doing my A-levels, my college had a Moodle site, and they put all my A-level materials up on there. It's just exactly the same here. All your past papers, all your lecture notes or your practical answers is what I'm looking for at the moment. I just want to go over some of the, just the uh, the recent earth sciences practicals because a lot of it is techniques I'll be doing in the um, practical exam. 59! Practical 59, how crazy is that? I've done 59 earth sciences practicals this year. 59! That is many hours spent. Okay, interesting. Why have they not put the answers up this time? I didn't even put the lectures the practicals out for that one. What? How do I know if what I've got is right? I don't. I need to check it. This could be wrong for all I know. Oh my god, I hate not having the answers. It's it's like a common thing here. You just don't have the solutions. I'm doing these past papers and I'm like, I could be on completely the wrong track and I wouldn't know. Okay, so I've just realised that CAF is not open until 12.40. And my Earth Sciences mega sesh, revision session, starts at 1. So I need to go get lunch now. So I'm going to Sainsbury's and I might sit and eat in Christ Pieces, which you can see around me. A few nice benches, a nice sunny day, and I'm close by to the Earth Department, so it all makes sense. I'm also ultra prepared and I've got my flashcards with me, my chemistry ones. So I'm going to be all prepped to do my organic chemistry questions later on. It's all go. So I ended up coming to Parker's piece in the end because I decided it was about closer to where I was because I had to walk up to the mini Sainsbury's to get my food. Now I'm going to tuck into some carrot and hummus sticks. Yes, I know I should probably just buy carrot and chop it up myself and not get ready-made stuff, but to be honest with you, I don't have the time. Like, <sighs> studying is more important than money. I don't know. Okay, I'll make the money back in future years. Hello and welcome to another revision update. Uh, today I have got up, I got up fairly early. Like I was surprised. I thought I was gonna sleep in because I was up late last night. And I've been doing chemistry questions this morning. It's actually been really, really good just going through these tripos questions, exam questions, and just reminding myself of stuff from like first term and whatnot. And my supervisor is gonna mark them for me, which is really good. I'm gonna have lunch in about an hour's time, I think. And then I'm gonna go on to physics because I've actually got physics to hand in tomorrow, which I have not yet started. 
I corkscrewed a rowing outing on Saturday afternoon and here I am cycling back from the boathouse. The boathouse is like a five minute cycle from the college. Jesus College is the closest college to all the boathouses so it's very convenient. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's outings like that that make me realise why I cocks, because that was just so nice. Like, just, I was just sitting back in the sun. Well, oh, they were all doing the work and I was just being carried along, a bit of steering here and there. It was lovely. <laughs> oh, that was just such a nice break from revision, actually. Um, I'm going to do a bit more work. Um, what time is it? It's 20 past four. Right, so I am going to... A birthday party <laughs> at like eight o'clock I think maybe like seven I need to start getting ready to go so maybe dinner at six if it's 20 past four now that gives me an hour and 40 well hey let's get going this is the bar at Downing College where we hung out for a few hours and coming up is Pagewise' very professional tour of Downing College. Is that the library? Yeah. And this is Downing Library. <laughs> and there's the bar that we just came out of. It was very pleasant. And here is the exit. I'm being released from the college, luckily. Otherwise, I would not be able to get out. So don't try to break into Downing. You will not get in. Okay, so I'm just heading back to Jesus now. Had a nice time at Downing at the bar. The bar was very pleasant. It's a really like cozy atmosphere. Anyway, it's still, the night is still young. I still have time to do work. I don't know if I actually will. My friends, I can see on the group chat, we're all gonna go out. Let's see if that actually happens. I mean, I don't think I want to. The fact that Plotch is still open means it's not still late at night. Don't worry guys, wait till May week and that's when I'll be properly going out. <laughs> for now, a few drinks in the bar is probably good enough for me for my socialising activities outside of revising. So tonight, it turns out I'm doing a bar crawl because I'm now in J bar. Yeah, two bars in one night guys, get me. I'm with, I'm with the normal guys. They're back again. Two bars, one actually crawl. Yeah, it's good to be back. So who would have thought that Paige Allett would be on a bar crawl? But here we are, with less than two weeks before exams. You're not on a bar crawl. Ella, don't expose me. Here's Ella. She's she's joining me on the bar crawl, but she's only on bar one. So it's not quite as cool. <laughs> okay, they're all making fun of me. I'm being vlogged while I'm vlogging. This is a meta vlogging. Whoa. So yeah, I actually I love reading all your comments. The comments are the best bit. We actually all read them a lot. Hmm. Stop mentioning Ed so much in the comments, he's a lot less cool in real life. Oh. <laughs> I think it's all going to Ed's head, he thinks he has fans now. So I've just completed my first bar crawl ever, I had a total of two bars and I'm really proud of myself. And here we are, we're all going to bed because we have exams to revise for. Fun times. <laughs> Okay, so I just got back into my room and it is, okay, it's only 20 to 12, which is good. Um, I had a lovely time just chatting to lots of different friends. I had such a variety of friends to talk to this evening. It's been really nice. And yeah, now I'm going to go to bed because I've got quite a packed day of revision planned tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> I was going to do work tonight after, um, after coming back from Downing Bar, but that failed. Damn it. <laughs> oh well, it'll be fine. It's all going good, it's all going good. I've been making full use of the outdoor seating at the Roost Cafe recently. And here is Ella working hard outside the Roost in the sun. Why is this a good working space? Why is it a good working space? It's not really. It's not. It's quite nice actually. And there's the Roost in there. It is extremely sunny today. Ella has French plaited my hair, so it's out of my face. Very kind. Dutch plaited, sorry, got it wrong. And um, I'm just doing my chemistry work. It's due in, in an hour and a half's time, so I'm gonna get going. Okay, so I'm back in my room, and 
I'm gonna do some more work now. I've just gone past Plodge on my way back and handed in my chemistry work, which is all good. And yeah, now I'm thinking, I mean, I really wanna, I'm itching to finish this chemistry me reaction mechanism, so I might do like an hour of that. Yeah, and then go on to a maths tripos paper, is the plan. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Hello and welcome to the first ever um, maths competition. Instead of games night, we are doing a maths competition. We have three contestants here. They are ready with their pens and their paper and their brains. I'm going to set them a maths question, which I've got from my past paper. Sorry, Astrid's here too. She is. And um, basically, the maths question is out of 20. They have to get at least 12 marks out of 20, and when they have done, asked it enough that they think they've got 12 marks out of 20, they say stop their time, and that is their time. The person with the lowest time wins, but if they haven't got the 12 marks out of 20 by the time they say stop, then they're lo they lose. So it's a bit of a gamble between how many marks you've got and timing. I'm gonna mark it, because we do actually have mark schemes for this paper, so it should be interesting. The question was on vectors and is designed to take about half an hour to answer in an exam. Okay, so their time is now up. They're all discussing the exam as people do after finishing an exam. They're now, we're now gonna get the mark scheme up and mark and see who did best. We can't get a mark scheme. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. It's numerical answers. No, right. They've got the work solutions, haven't they? Yeah, I've got, I've got work solutions. Yeah. Wait, what are you? What? So, in, we have actually, it's very, very close. All of you did uh, really, really, really bad. For those watching, this question was out of 20 marks. Oh, no. okay. At this point, we have how many, how many weeks till the exam, guys? <laughs> we've got we've got less than two weeks until the exam um so in joint two weeks in a day then so in joint second place what well, ed and will with, with seven marks good work guys and in first place is tim with eight marks don't get too excited tim i mean you still only got eight out of twenty the goal was 12. <laughs> we then set we the goal at 12. The bar. <laughs> to be fair to them, I did I did try and choose the nastiest question on the paper. So if they were choosing questions, I don't think any of them would have chosen that yeah, question. Yeah, in real life would have got And we do get a choice, I, I, so. I, I would see that question and puke a little bit and move on. <laughs> 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 but it was a fun, it was a fun games night. It was an alternative to our usual board games. Do you agree that still on there? I kind of want to do another of these. Yeah. No. Yeah? yeah. No. yeah. Round two? No, practice, yeah. Okay. I went to the library later that evening and here I am heading back rather late at night. So I just got back from the library and now it is time for bed. It is very late. I took the decision that I wanted to do a maths tripos paper tonight and they take three hours. Yes, three hours. And when you start at eight, that means you end at midnight. Three hours, eight till midnight. You sure about that one page? So it's about 12.15 now. I'm gonna get to bed quickly. Um, the good news is that my sleep pattern can be slightly off at the moment because I've obviously not got lectures tomorrow. I've got two, yeah, two supervisions tomorrow and I'm planning on um, popping into the Earth Lab for some last revision there because they're closing the lab on Monday for other exams starting. And it means I'm not gonna be able to have another chance to look at the hand specimens and look at the thin sections before I'm actually asked to identify them in the exam. So last minute Earth revision is essential tomorrow. I've got it all planned out, guys. It's all going well. I ended up spending most of Monday in the Earth Lab. I went in the morning and afternoon. Here I'm recapping all the different types of fossil specimen I could be given. And we get given specimens like this in the actual exam. 
I then was looking at some thin sections under the petrographic microscope. In the exam we are given an unseen thin section and have to identify the rock and the minerals it contains. And then I attempt to show you some undulatory extinction in a quartzite. So I've decided to, oh where's my bike? Oh there it's up there, thought I'd lost it. I decided to call it a day. It is 20 past five, the lab is technically closed, but no one came to kick me out, so I was very hurriedly going through the last of the thin sections I wanted to go over. Now I'm just gonna cycle back because it's dinner time. Just remembered to run out of hand soap, so put me into boots. This is what we want. I do like the moisturizing because we all know my hands get extremely dry sometimes. I'm just figuring out how many I'm gonna to need till the end of term. I feel like I'd get by with one, but I'm gonna get two to be on the safe side because I do not want to be popping to the shops in the middle of exams, like, I just don't have time for that. Okay, so it's 10 minutes till CAF barbecue starts. In exam term, right, everyone is going to CAF the whole time, no one can be bothered to cook. It's going to be so popular, the queue's going to be so big, and I'm so hungry. The struggle. So I need to cycle back quickly so I can be first in the queue. Alright, I'm back. I'll tell you what, I am mentally exhausted. I don't know what it is, but today... It's just been exhausting. Like, I feel like I've been concentrating for so long and I just need to like, I need to watch some TV for a while just to relax the brain. It's needed. Okay, so I've got mail, yay! I never get mail in my page, but I've got mail and it is from my friends because I know their writing and it's got a little crest on the back because I always draw a vinegar crest on the back of people's mail because I don't know if it's come across in the vlogs or not, but I like vinegar a lot. Like, it's my favourite food. And I draw it in a little crest on the back of any birthday cards or just mail I send people. So that's them doing their own version. It's LM because it's Leah and Maisie. They are making fun of my eyesight here. I'm not sure whether I should take offence, but it's fine. as of this moment. Good luck in your exams, you're going to smash them. Hope you don't miss us too much. And ooh, cheeky revision incentives. We have more vinegar on Mawam. And then, I've got a little postcard. A unicorn. It says Paige. Bonjour, hola, hello. Bok, advance towards the brethren. <laughs> Woo, exams. Remember your formulas, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. E equals MC squared. <laughs> Speed equals distance over time. Um, triangle equals 180 degrees. Christopher Columbus thought he discovered Japan, but no plot twist. Fun fact. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. I don't do biology, but clearly they don't know that. <laughs> it's quite sad. Also, I would very much recommend horrible histories when QI is not on. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> You can stop filming. <laughs> it is 11 o'clock and I am going to bed. I know, getting to bed at a reasonable hour. Wow, proud of me. I hope you're all proud of me too. Um, yeah, so I wanna get up nice and bright and early tomorrow to get going because tomorrow is gonna mark the day when it's a week till the exams start. Help. So um, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you for watching, seeing me stress, work a lot, and also just have some fun because I feel I've still been having fun even though exams are only a few weeks away. Go stay chill, it's only first year. I only need to pass. As long as I pass, it's cool. Like the grade, it's not gonna be that important in the grand scheme of things, so. And with that, I will say goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please do give it a like and subscribe down below and I will see you soon with another video. Bye.